So, I'm turning the axle. Uh, it's a piece of stock, uh, 25 millimeters, uh, one inch diameter, and I need it to be uh, overall length uh, 20 millimeters. Now I'm cutting the keyways. Three millimeters wide. This is for the pinion. The axle is done. Uh, two sides are for ball bearings. Yeah, this one is a very, it's a very good fit. Uh, for me, th three keyways: uh, one for the pinion, one for the pulley, and one one for the hand wheel. Uh, So, and a small key. This looks good. Uh, for the axle, for the pinion, uh, I casted this a long time ago. Uh, and I will use them. Uh, this is for the ball bearings. I can put the ball bearings in, in here. Uh, but on one, I will have to cut off uh, this flange uh, so that the pinion can sit here. Uh, the other I will put on the put on the outside so that I can put the axle through here. So let's do this now. I've made the support for the ball bearings. One comes here and the other one comes here. That's done. Uh, now we will uh, install it on the shaper. And then we will paint it. So, it's installed. Uh, two supports of the ball bearings. Everything is done. Let's turn it. It's heavy. It's heavy. Now, let's... Oh, let's zoom out. That's better. Okay. Now with the vice grip. So here will come the hand wheel. So we can. This is the maximum stroke. Okay, that's good. Right, uh, I made three castings. Uh, this one. This for the, how do you call it again? Mm, ah, the automatic feet. Uh, I will cut off the sprue and then I will uh, turn it. This one is the, um, how do you call it? <laughs> yeah, 
it's Sunday morning. I'm still sleeping. Um, for the the belts, uh, the drive belts, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, also very very good. No shrinkage, no porosity. Then this this will be the hand wheel, but when I closed uh, the malt or when I transported the malt, I handled it a little bit too roughly. I got some uh, yeah some dropouts. So this one I must I must cast again. Uh, you see, I make mistakes too. Uh, nobody's perfect. Uh, anyway, nothing is lost. We'll do it again. All right, the pulley for the belt I've made. Uh, small keyway and a set screw. This is the the belt fits nice. Yeah. So that's done. And for the automatic feet, also with the set screw. Where is it? Ah, here. So these are done. Now we're gonna install them, and then I will use this motor. Uh, it's too big for uh, the machine, for the shaper, but uh, anyway, to test it, uh, I will use it with a frequency drive. Uh, so that we can see how it operates. Okay. Okay. I've installed uh, the pulley. So, <coughs> and uh, the automatic feed. So, now I will try uh, to put the motor on and we will test run it. Okay, it's time for a test run. Let's see how it works. <coughs> Slow it down a little bit. Yeah, it's working. So, uh, the next thing, the table, uh, the cross lights first, and then the table. Uh, uh, 